CNN reporter using profanity to describe President Biden's campaign strategy. President Biden himself personally instructed some of his top campaign aides to be even more aggressive in highlighting some of President Trump's uh, more inflammatory and wild comments. Uh, we are told that the thrust of the president's direction was to significantly ramp up the campaign's efforts to highlight the crazy shit that Trump says uh, in public. And that aired without the bleep that we added. Joe Concha is a Fox News yeah. contributor, and he joins us now. Uh, Joe, good morning to you. So that was a quote that the source gave to that reporter. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like she was just pontificating. But right. certainly a decision not to self-censor there. More importantly, though, what do you make of her overall message that that's going to be President Biden's campaign strategy? Well, first on the expletive used on the air, uh, only friends and relatives are watching CNN at this point. Uh, so this reporter likely kept that in there in the hopes of getting a little attention and to look oh so edgy, right? Uh, but it, it, CNN serves at the pleasure of the Biden uh, campaign and White House at this point. So the, the source is trying to, and we've seen a couple of stories like this lately, right, where apparently Biden behind the scenes or somebody uh, who's close to Biden behind the scenes, they they throw down a good old fashioned S bomb or F bomb uh, just to show how passionate this campaign is. And then we watch this president and we see there's not a lot of passion there as all as, as far as running for reelection and actually having a real campaign. I mean, guys, the, the president is in California right now, as you've been reporting, but he won't visit the border where thousands of people from China, for example, are pouring in. The border is a number one issue. He's in a border state and he ain't talking about it. So uh, they could try to focus on Trump all they want. People know who Donald Trump is, right? He's not running to be a priest. He's running to be president. And there are many imperfect things uh, that Donald Trump will say. And that's built into the cake. It's baked into the cake at this point. So they could continue to make this about Trump. In the end, all elections are in a referendum on the incumbent. And the incumbent right now is polling lower than any president at this, this stage of his presidency than any in polling history. That's just the facts. Well, Joe, I think you touch upon something interesting. You often find these leaks coming from the White House with a curse word or with something that seems negative on the surface, but behind the scenes, yeah. it's meant to sort of communicate toughness or edge or something like that. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Joe Biden, does he have the mental capacity to do the job for the next year? and for the next four. Here's what Donald Trump said about that last night during the Fox News town hall. Well, he's, uh, he's declined, and there's no question about it, but he was always sort of semi-declined. If you go back 25 years, <laughs> no, but he was not one of the smarter people. He's tried to be president many times, four times at least that they know of, and all of a sudden when he's most diminished, this is when he hit, and he, he did it. The New York Times complaining that Joe Biden complained to them that all the coverage that the Times provides is about Joe Biden's mental state. Thoughts on the White House trying to censor what is clearly a major campaign issue. Can Joe Biden function in this job any longer? It is beyond insulting to intelligence to hear the Biden White House blame the New York Times that hasn't endorsed a Republican presidential candidate since Dwight D. Eisenhower, that the, the press has been negative towards Biden and talking about his mental state. And if they didn't do that, then the American people would think he's A-OK. -okay. Uh, ABC News did a poll last week that found nearly nine in 10 Americans don't think this man has the mental capacity to be president for another four years. You can't undo that perception and what we see every day. And the, uh, the other saying is you can't, uh, can't kind of get a girl pregnant. You also can't kind of run a presidential campaign. This ain't 2020. There's no COVID to hide behind. There is a record to defend. And while everyone basically thinks you've lost your fastball mentally, and to Trump's point, he really never even had a knuckleball to begin with at this point, guys. Okay. So, Joe, yesterday the, the president traveled to California for this really expensive fundraiser, tickets up to $250,000. But before he got on yeah. the plane, he got smacked in the face with this question from a reporter. Watch this. Mr. President, good afternoon, sir. You're going to California. Is this about coming up with a plan B for 2024? Does Gavin need to stand by? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Well, I'm looking for I'm looking at you. Yes, We're looking at you. Sir, Nick hey, and Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you looking for Plan B? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think about that, Joe? 
It was a silly question, uh, but at the same time, there is a lot of talk that Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama will replace Joe Biden at the convention in Chicago over the summer, which is the most undemocratic thing they could possibly do to install somebody based on what superdelegates say and taking the right of voters in the primaries away. That would backfire tremendously if they tried to do that, and it's it's a long shot, I still think, at yeah, this point. Yeah, and I wonder guys. what Kamala Harris was thinking, Joe, <laughs> if she heard that question. Mm -hmm. What about me? I thought I was Plan B. I'm the vice yeah, president. I think she knows by now she may She's not be Plan Z. Plan <laughs> Joe, just to circle back to the topic we started off. Circle back. Uh, maybe Jen Psaki yeah. for a moment. Mm -hmm. Are you sure I'm not allowed to curse on air? Let's just, just be clear on that. Uh, you can. Uh, we're, we're a cable news network, and the FCC doesn't really control that, so you can without being fine. But we're a classy organization. That just ain't going to happen. So Joe's Contra says, stay classy, yeah. Fox News Chat. That's good. Where are you going yes. with this? No, I just wanted to know. I just want to know if I had 15 seconds to get blanche. out of this, and hopefully you don't cur curse in the next 10 seconds now. Hold your tongue. <laughs> That's quite a bar. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.